Hello, Bob. It has been quite some time. Why's my controller not doing the thing? There you go. Here it goes. My dog has fallen and she can't get up. Oh my god. <laughs> The, the the big H. I enjoy that one. Is, what is what what does the H stand for? If I may ask. <laughs> Poor doggo. Uh, what am I gonna try? So for those not in the know, oh yes, Bob. I'm gonna tell you, Bob, because as as one of the mans behind the notification squad, I'm deeply disappointed. Deeply disappointed. For everybody not to know, hello fellow gamers, it is I, Simba Player, and today I'm going to be streaming a little bit on the YouTubes, mainly as advertisement, because my booty is going to leave to the Twitch. So, in the uh, description of the stream right now, you will find a link to my stream on Twitch. You should follow me there because eventually I'm going to stop doing streams entirely on YouTube and switch entirely to Twitch, and then only my videos will go up live here. So you know how this works. Because YouTube is not very nice to good old Sam the Dad. He, they don't like me. They don't, they don't give me the monetization. They don't let me curse the way I like. You know, they don't let me do anything. They have me on a short leash and I don't like it. So I'm going to be switching over to Twitch full-time whenever possible. So... Go down in the description below, click that link, follow me there. But for now, we're going to be streaming and we're going to be getting ourselves the Sakura DLC uh, costume. You get here, if you're not a Street Fighter fan, then you will probably be like, what? Uh, I personally don't play Street Fighter that much, but I do like this character and her design. So I will work towards getting myself uh, that costume, that armor set. So let's do that. Got, got food. And you get everything provided. I don't think eating actually matters in your arena quest, but I s still do it regardless. We're going to be using the... I haven't used the uh, charge blade yet. I've used the insect glaive, and I've used the uh, switch axe, which I really want to learn the switch axe. But it is... I don't understand it. It gets me really upset because I am personally not a fan of slow weapons, right? But with the switch axe, you want to primarily use the sword mode, which is really slow. And I just don't understand how it works because all these other weapons have these unique mechanics and like interesting like ways of avoiding damage and stuff like that. But the switch axe has nothing, and it just feels like I leave myself open and vulnerable every single time I want to go in for damage. So I don't know. It's not my favorite weapon, uh, but I want to. Well, I, 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 I can't say that because I think that's probably has something to do with the fact that I don't quite understand it yet. I want to learn it, so I'm going to have to show it some patience as I get through. Uh, I've gotten better with the charge blade, but I don't want to use it that much because I feel like it's the most, like, you know, the, the strongest. Like, ooh, it's like, it's so good, everybody should use it. Why any other weapon even exists? Because charge blade is so strong. I just feel like it's kind of a little bit in a... It, it needs more tuning. It needs to be a little bit weaker. But who knows? Maybe it doesn't really matter that much. It just I just hate seeing it constantly in the speedrunner section. I just wish other weapons would get more attention. But with the uh, charge blade being so strong, wow! I really did not expect that to hit me. So this particular this particular arena quest doesn't give you any like regular potions. You only get max potions, which is really bizarre. But we'll deal with it. All right. Get out of there. Ooh, I bounced off. Okay, that's not good. I'm not actually sure if that would have been uh, guard points, but I'm not gonna not I'm not gonna leave that up to chance. Ah dang it. I'm really not good with weapons that do that, like with the charge blade and the switch axe, the little sidewards jump when you dodge. I want a full roll, but for some reason these weapons don't allow you to do that, and it's really it really messes me up quite often. Really, that hit me. I don't like the pink raffian. I haven't. F oh god. Yeah. Whoa! It didn't actually hit me. I haven't fought the pink raffian that frequently. Uh, I fight actually the azure raffalos more than I fight the pink raffian. And it shows, because this thing really messes me up quite frequently. I'm going to use this Max Potion right here, and I'm going to use the Paralysis Knives to hopefully... Oh, one is all it took? That's surprising. Ah, I didn't hit it on a good spot. I forgot, there's like this, there's like this smart way, the smart combo, in order to quickly back off, 
gauge like where you gotta go with the mo with the weapon and then use the super element uh, discharge. But I forgot how to use it because it's been such a long time since I played this game and like looked at guides and all that stuff. Oh boy, I gotta like really relearn everything about this game. Oh boy. Shield that. It's a cool thing about this weapon that you can shield stuff. Ooh, that was not a guard point. Unfortunate. It's alright, Bob. I believe you. I understand. It's, it's alright. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh Jesus. Paralyze. Paralyze. Really it didn't it didn't work. That's weird and random because oh I you don't oh with this set you don't get the uh the flash bug you got with one of I'm really not good with any weapon that's slower than the insect glaive. I like the dual blades, I like the insect glaive, I like the sword and shield, but that's it. I can't really deal with any other weapon. I wanna sharpen my weapon, but the freaking pink raffian won't stop attacking me! Look at it! It's so obnoxious! Just stop moving! Okay, finally got that in. Jesus, what an obnoxious monster. And it's it feels like it's only this this arena quest version. Like I've never seen a pink raffian be this crazy before. Oh, uh, it doesn't really matter. This weapon has terrible sharpness. I'm just so used to my good weapons that all have, like, white sharpness, and you never want to go even down to blue sharpness, so... This weapon having such terrible sharpness is really throwing me off. I have no idea how to play this weapon, by the way. I hope that's... I hope that's apparent. Oh, come on! Yo! How you doing? Try my hardest not to die right now. God, I hate this monster. I just hate arena quests because I want to use my own white bounds. Plus, they're like all like designed for two players in mind. And my friends don't play this game no more, which is upsetting. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how slow weapons are supposed to work in this game. I sincerely, I sincerely don't understand. I don't understand why anybody would ever pick a slow weapon in Monster Hunter when fast weapons exist. Oh yeah, this, the, the, okay, that's not the one. Come on. Come on. To be fair, you're not really supposed to use the axe when you're supposed to be going straight into the elemental discharge and then lose it! Oh, I actually- oh, I hit her once. And I didn't actually lose the file, so that's fine. That, that, I, I'm not mad here. Alright, let's go. Just backwards. Oh, come on! I hate you! I hate this monster! She won't stop fucking moving! See, on Twitch I could get away with saying fucking, but on YouTube I can't. So this is why we're gonna be switching to Twitch! God, I hate this weapon! Oh my god, I hate this monster. Like, the weapon is not actually that bad, because I've been using Dante's, like... I hate the sharpness, I hate the weapon, everything about the arena sucks dicks. This is why I don't play the arena quests ever. Because I want to use my gear against my monsters. God, I hate this. Oh, that's good. That's good, Bob. Keep that up. Oh yeah, exams suck. No way I'm gonna hit that. Ugh. God, I hate everything. There's there's a lot of problems. As much as I love this game, Monster Hunter has so many freaking problems, it's not even funny. And now she won't stop. Oh, she's tired. Cool. Stay that way so I can freaking sharpen my weapon. Thanks. Like, I just hate the arena. I just really hate the arena. Like, they always give you underpowered weapons, and I don't understand. Like, you're supposed to have fun. Oh, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Don't worry, because yeah, Twitch is where we're going to be streaming primarily from now on. So if you want to catch my streams, you got to do it. You got to do it on the uh, on the Twitch rather than YouTube. So yeah, if you want to check my future streams out, don't forget to follow there. Like that. Oh, yeah? Really? I got stunned from the little nibble? Are you kidding me? God, I... Hate this monster, it's too aggressive. It's not fun. Stop. 
Like, it's only in the arena. I've never seen a monster that doesn't just shut up. My god. Wait, did it just... Yeah, I messed... I just messed up putting things in the shield, man, because this thing is just so obnoxious. Okay, this is like the last time I'll be doing this quest on stream. I'll be going to do some fun afterwards. Just screw this event quest. It's not fun. Oh, god. I hate arena quests. This is why I'm going to be an Insect Glaive main for life, because the Insect Glaive is just fast, flexible, does everything you want it to, no, like, strings attached, you just do your thing. That wouldn't have happened with the Insect Glaive, because I would have just been able to dodge roll out of my attacks, like, so much better. And I'm still on I have no idea why anybody would use any slow weapons in this game. Uh, great sword users, let me know how the f like, you live, how does this work? Because I don't see myself ever using a slow weapon in this game, primarily. It's the impossible. I've tried the hunting horn, which I thought was a slow weapon. Actually, not to be a much faster weapon, and I like it. Um, I wanted to try out the lance, but it's way too freaking slow. So, like, I don't understand. I sincerely, my mind is blown by people. I'm like, yeah, I, I made a slow, methodical weapon. Like, it's fun. Just let me, let me pile away at the monster. Boom. This is, this is gonna be a salty rant stream, actually. Why does it bounce off of the freaking shell if it's blue sharpness? I hate this weapon. Excuse me, but give me white sharpness or nothing else. Like, I can't. I can never go back to old school, like, like the beginning of the game where you don't have white sharpness yet, because that, that would kill me. I need white sharpness all day, every day. I can't go back to weapons that have white sharp that, that don't have white sharpness. I need handicraft everywhere. And out roars, so it interrupts my one time I could have potentially done something, and it roars. Today is not a good day for monster hunting. But it's not gonna be a long stream anyway. I'm just here to promote the Twitch stream, and then I'm probably just gonna be done because God, this is God this makes me angry. I hate this monster. I since I'm dead. I'm poisoned. I'm dead. Once I get up, I'm dead. Yep. Super hot. This is literally the worst. Plus, I looked up the freaking completed armor set. It's not actually worth it. Like, unless you want to look specifically like Sakura, which don't get me wrong, it's a cute little set and I like it, and I'll, I might use it a couple of times. The actual benefits and skills you get from it are not that good. It's not really worth it. Look at all. And I might be doing, um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I might actually start doing some live recordings on YouTube. So basically just like 15 minute, like 30 minute long streams that instead of just looking at them as regular streams, which I was doing on Twitch, they're just kind of, I'm recording a regular video with you guys together. It's going to be fun. And it's just going to go live immediately right afterwards and it's going to be fun and good all the time. It's just going to be some good times. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying the idea. Streams are just a lot more fun, I think, for everybody involved. And even if nobody shows up, because it's technically, you know, going to end up as just a regular video type thing, it's not bad. I don't understand these weapons. They're so slow and leave you so open. You don't hit anything with them. What are these? How have people been using these? I don't understand. Damn, God. Oh my god, people are weird. People that use slow weapons are weird. Oh boy. Fast lane for life. Come on, get over here. I can't come at you because my weapons are too slow, so I'm gonna need you to come over here. Yep, first attack, first attack I tried to do, and the monster immediately just dodged it. I don't I don't understand. I don't I don't understand his weapon. I don't I do not understand this weapon like a monster should not be able to dodge your attacks as easily that's why the instant glaive is king because it's fast it does tons of damage longsword even is a little bit slower but it's still a great weapon and the fact that they don't give you what is it called the fact that they don't give you the uh, what is it called the flash the flash uh bombs which you should always have when fighting a, a flying monster. That's just silly. 
This is literally just rain town right now, but that's what I feel like when the game forces. Well, the game didn't force me out to shovel it, but just seeing this for the first time, this is crazy. The idea that anybody would choose to play this or choose to play this weapon. Stick, stick with, with long, stick with like short, with fast weapons, guys. Dual blades, sword and shield, insect glaive, anything that's fast and fun is my is uh, my suggestion. Bow is also really fun. Light bow gun, heavy bow gun is a little bit too slow. Like um, I can, I, I've seen people make that work really well, but just personally, I don't like that. It's way too slow. I don't get it. This might be the first time I'm gonna fail this quest. Oh, I have 50 minutes. I'm on. I might just quit the quest just because I don't like this weapon, like at all. It's just. It's also just. There's. It has not enough sharpness to deal with this monster. And the monster doesn't give you any chance to just relax and wet and sharpen your blade. God, this is obnoxious. Just stop. Yeah, I'm gonna die. This is such a stupid weapon. Whatever. All right, let me finish this and then go on to do something fun. It's primarily the sharpness that pisses me off. Again, the Dante blade that I, I freaking enjoy, I love playing with, has white sharpness as it should be. You shouldn't be able to bounce on monsters like this at this stage of the game. Like, they're making you fight a high rank monster that, like, this would not be how you would encounter it in the wild. In the wild, you would have, like, a good sharpness already, you would have good weapon. But not here! At all! Oh, it's finally... Calm the fuck down. Oh, now... Th that was so anticlimactic! What the f Okay! That was so anticlimactic, I, I did not enjoy that. Oh well, that was boring. Time to go back into the wilds and use the Insect Glaive. As, as it was intended. Best players in Monster Hunter, Insect Glaive users. Hands down. <laughs> totally not biased at all, guys. It's so freaking hot in here. Why is this so hot? It's only May. I don't even want to know what it's like. Yeah, C rank. 15 minutes. Jesus Christ. With the Insect Glaive, I got a B. Because, you know, you're meant to be fighting this with two people. And... Um... And with the uh, Switch Axe, which I also consider a little bit too slow of a weapon. I got, a, I got like, nine minutes, so it was decent still. But 15 minutes? Yeah, it's just, just that... That weapon was terrible. Like, I'm not sure... Like, I don't think it was actually, like... Indicative, like, at all, all, all charge plates. Clearly, because I love the Dante one, but... That was just a terrible weapon against a monster that was clearly not designed to fight. Like, that monster was higher level in many ways than the weapon I was given. So, that was obnoxious and that made me angry. But, that's alright, because we're going to be doing something fun now. We're going to be fighting... Uh, do you want to go over... To, yeah, I'm sure. No, I don't want to go after Devil's Run the Wild Spire. Waste. Not, not necessarily there... But this? Now this looks more like it. Let's go. Let's do this. Nice. Actually, yeah. Let's, let's do this. Do I want to go with the uh, dual blades or do I want to go with something a little bit different? I don't know yet. Um, Definitely not with the Sin because, I don't know. They, they've just done so little damage recently. I, I don't know. I think my, my preferred weapons have just kind of made me very... Very unaware of the rest of the damage spread in the game. What I mean is, uh, with this, I've been using this or Catastrophe Light non-stop for all my endgame hunts. So when I suddenly switched to the, um, I actually forgot what it's called, uh, the Odogaron uh, Insect Glaive. I forgot what it's called. Let me, let me quickly look it up so I don't... Did it not change yet? Wait, did it not change yet? Does it still say Hunter 999? Because I changed it. I don't know if it changed. Um, what the the Dogron? 
Shouldn't be Sintun. That should not be the case. Vice. Yeah, so your Diodogron, Diodogron Instant Glaive is called Vice. Uh, but, so I used the, uh, this one, which has, like, 766, uh, raw damage. And then I used the, uh, Vice, which had, like, 566 or whatever. I don't know. Like, I'm just, go I'm just going random examples. But I used them, and I made it specifically a crit set all, all around about it. Like, it had, it has, like, 60 affinity and agitator on top of that. And then, like, uh, parts, like, a breaker or whatever on top of that, like, all this affinity stacking stuff really cool like i thought it was really cool and then i used it and i did zero damage with it and i was like well i guess the vice is just a really bad weapon compared to the pickle glaive or the catastrophe light but then i picked up the pickle glaive and realized it did these uh, decently same amount of damage St it still beat the vice don't get me wrong but it's i was like oh damn i'm just kind of not actually looking at the numbers correctly so that sometimes happens Uh, that's weird, if, if you still see the Hunter 999 thing, because I switched it over to something else. So that's weird, that shouldn't be happening, I, I need to check with YouTube about that. Alright, uh, time to have some more fun. Man, that, that arena quest really pissed me off, I was in a really good mood, I was like, yeah, let's do some hunting, guys, let's do that. And then the fucking, like, pink raffian bouncing off, mm, asshole, like, nope. What? There was a footprint there. Whatever. Let's go. Oh, I'm not actually doing any of the things I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not. I'm not sharpening for that protective polish. I'm not putting up any like uh, any ooh, any seeds. Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Let's go, my team. Let's do this. I disagree, good sir. I consider the uh, pickle glaive the best, the best weapon. But that's oh jeez. To each their own. I do still like using the Catastrophe Laser. I do still like it. I just think the Pickle Glaive is superior. Oh, shoot. Oh, bad mistakes were made! I just wanted to get, like, a little aerial hit in, but nope, this dude's like, mm-mm, not happening. Oh, I hate this. I hate that attack because I think that that um, tail ha should not have a hitbox. What? What hit me? All right, all right. I am about to just quit everything. Why did you stop healing me? You pulled the wiggle and then you just stopped healing me. What? The f what? Okay. Today is not a good day for Monsanto. I should just go back to play God of War. Here I go. There you go. Do that. Do that. Be a little bit more predictable, please. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Oh. There you go. You should always dodge that for his face, but sometimes it just won't let that happen because at, uh, the position in which he starts doing that attack. But always dodge that for the face because the tail just comes right afterwards, and it's really hard to predict when to dodge that. Like, you have, like, a one frame where you can dodge that. Gosh, this. I can't believe I was actually out of the range of his breath there. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's this. First of all, I don't like the way that catastrophe light looks, and I think this one is just looks much better. But yes, the protect polish, the white sharpness, and to get it with some uh, crits if you get some. Oh shit. If you get if you can negate the negative crit, then I don't see a reason to put the, uh, the catastrophe light over the uh, pickle blade. No, it just straight up has more, it has a higher raw damage. So if you top that off with the white sharpness and the polish, the protective polish, then that that fucking stupid tail needs to go. Capcom, remove that tail. No hitbox on that tail. Thank you. That's, that, that is the main reason. I, I, I can easily beat. If you remove that tail hitbox on the little uh, tackle, like the temper... Devil Joe is nothing. Super easy. But because it has that stupid tackle with the stupid tail being a hitbox, I keep dying to it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to fight that thing because it's just so obnoxious. Like, the tail should not have a hitbox on that tackle. Plus, unfortunately, Devil Joe has shown that Capcom doesn't always, like, when they add new monsters, they don't quite check every possibility for balancing issues. 
Have you ever fought a Devil Joe on a slope or an incline? Oh boy, is that just obnoxious because its tail will go through everything because it's such a large monster and it will just blind, like you won't be able to see it because it's in the walls or in the ground. You can't see it, it just hits you from nowhere. And it's mainly with Devil Joe, I've never noticed it from another monster. I need to try that out, actually. I got the Diablos uh, Glaive, uh, the Kul Tarath, like, golden version of it, and it's super strong, and I want to use that more. But, yeah, you need, like, white sharpness and, like, some um, ways to negate the negative, um, what is it called, the uh, negative affinity. But other than that, I do like it. I do still prefer the, the Pickle Glaive for its design, but, yes, that is definitely also a good raw damage glaive. Again, the Pickle also has um, high dragon, and actually, I think higher Elder... It has higher dragon uh, elemental damage than the uh, Catastrophe Lights, and it has the same high Elder Seal as uh, Catastrophe Lights. So that kind of puts it a little bit above Diablos, in my opinion. But I'd have to look at that. It, like, does, ha it does have uh, seals, like hidden elements, but I'm not sure that element would be worth it. I'll have to check that out. But yeah, I do like that weapon. Oh, God. Wow, the fact that I didn't actually get hit by that is pretty good. It's pretty lucky. Come on, stop that. Oh yeah, guys, don't forget, I said that before, but I keep saying it. Uh, oh god. Down in the description of this stream right now, there is a link to my Twitch page. If you want to see future streams, go follow that. Because I'll stop streaming on YouTube eventually and do all my streams on Twitch. Due to the fact that Twitch is just much more lenient. And doesn't try to, uh, you know, police every single thing in the world. I would like to uh, say the things I want to say without being worried about demonization going away. And, you know, we can play some more music that YouTube would literally kill me for. All that good stuff. So, if you want to see future streams, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Uh, the YouTube channel will not be dropped. I'll still be doing videos on it. For example, I will be doing a video going over all my uh, armor sets, which people have been asking me ever since I started putting out uh, tutorials. So that's gonna happen. But if you want to see live streams, then go to Twitch and follow me there. I'd have to look, but I'm pretty sure the Diablo's Glaive has a hidden element. I'm not sure. I'm gonna look it up after this. I'm gonna check that. See, look at that tail! And now we're fighting on the exact incline I was thinking about. Alright, here we go. Well, I don't. Cat, can you stop distracting it, please? Oh, you're here with me. What was the Diablo? What was it doing to Diablo's? Tyrannosaurus Pickle. Hey, I want that yellow. I want that yellow. Thank you. God, I hate this. Hate this area. This is the worst area to fight any monster in, honestly. Like his his hitboxes don't work with inclines. Remove them. Remove them. We'll make it impossible for him to be on inclines. That makes sense. But it's just so silly to me. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, doing his things. And again, I don't I don't understand how people can use slower weapons. I just don't understand. Like for like uh, switch axe or great sword. I don't understand how people use them. Like I don't understand. And again, that comes from a guy who loves slow and methodical games where you have to commit to attacks like Dark Souls and, and Bloodborne. I, but Bloodborne being uh, one of my top three favorite games of all time ever. So like I am totally down with slow, methodical, like paced and like uh, well thought out combat. But this is not that. This is, game is so much faster than previous Monster Hunter games, and I have no idea how people manage to play slower weapons in this game. The Insta-Glaive, the Dual Blades, the Sword and Shield, that's that's it. That's all I want to play, because the other ones are just so slow. I, I don't... I've tried. I've tried the Charge Blade. I've tried the Switch Axe. I, I tried the Lance. I just, I just don't understand them. Come on, get... get. Get paralyzed. Get paralyzed. What are you? Why? You're standing straight in that paratoad. Let's go. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think Flash and Shock Traps are allowed by the new Time Attack rules. I don't think Slinger Ammo at all is allowed in the new Time Attack rules, and I don't like going for those rules, so I can't do that. Maybe I'm wrong, I should look those up again. What the? Okay. How about you just don't do that? Thanks. Ah, uh, well, so cats are not allowed on the TA rules. So I, I already kind of messed that up. Come on. There you go. <laughs> of course, I have to go in front of his face to get the red. No problem. Alright, he's limping. He's dead. He's dead. Time to just follow him up to a sleeping ground and then uh, put him to sleep. And then capture him. Get him back to the village. And we are good! Oh my goodness, I did not collect. Yeah, because I didn't spawn at a camp. I got knocked off. I need to collect uh, my traps and stuff. Otherwise, that's not going to happen. Doop -doop 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 -doop. I don't know, that's just, I wish there were some balance changes to a lot of the weapons make them faster. I love the switch axe in, like, idea, because it reminds me a lot of Bloodborne in terms of, like, uh, both the charge blade and the switch axe remind me of Bloodborne due to the fact that in Bloodborne, you know, the trick weapons where, like, one weapon would be two different weapons and you just switch and it was, like, smart engineering where, like, two pieces went into into each other in order to, like, achieve a new weapon or one weapon would, like, split up and, like, morph around. So I really like those weapons, like technically and visually, but then you play them and they're so slow and I just don't understand. It's just so fucking boring when I can't attack. Like, the speed. Like, this is how it feels to play the Switch Axe to me. Like, this kind of speed. And it's just like, this doesn't feel natural to me. I don't know. I need to just actually, like, quit the Insect Glaive and all the fast weapons and just sit down and play all the slow ones I don't like non-stop. Like, that's all I do. That's all I'll touch. Just the slow weapons, non-stop, until I learn them, until I can understand how they work. And then, it's like putting on the freaking training weights in Dragon Ball Z, you know, and then I take them off again and play the Insta Glaive again, and it's like, oh my god, whole new world. Unbelievable. But, wow, this one time I'm on stream, I don't get any gems. Last time I got two gems in together, like, come on, game. Let me show the people my, my good luck. We're at Hunter Rank 102. By the way, yes, I'm going to plan on going to Hunter Rank with 999 with this game. I don't know when it's going to happen because I don't play that much right now, but I'm definitely planning on doing that eventually in the future. So if you want to see that, then, you know, Twitch, join me on those live streams. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of off-screen grinding, obviously, because otherwise we're never going to get there. But that's going to happen. And perfect time to mention that once again, I'm going to have to say this repeatedly until people friggin' do it. If you enjoy my streams and if you want to see more live streams, please go down to the description of this stream or video, however you're watching this. Right now, there will be a link to my Twitch stream. Follow that because eventually I'm going to stop streaming on YouTube entirely and transition all that to Twitch because, you know, Twitch is a much better platform for just being yourself i would say uh youtube is still gonna be used for uploading videos related to random stuff horror games any kind of games you know just kind of monster tutorials maybe all that kind of good stuff but live streams will be primarily on twitch so if you want to see more of those please follow me there i will be right back Alright, I had to turn the AC on because, oh my god, is it hot in here. So, if you hear that, I apologize, but, uh, 
I'd like to survive. I would like to live. So therefore, I will turn these on. All right, let's see. Where is it? We'll put on category, and then... Um, oh, it's all the way to the bottom. Terraglave water. I really want to use this one, but it's all it is. Water has really low raw. Um, the vice. Yeah, it doesn't have that much damage. Where is it? Tyrannus glaive. It has ice elements, but it's a hidden element. And then the uh, Tariff Glaive Horn, which has slightly higher ice and 10 more defense boost. So basically, this is, this is just straight up the better one. It's the exact same weapon, but it has higher ice and a defense boost. It does. This one does have a slot, actually. Never mind. This one does have that slot. I don't know, then. That's hard. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, but we're going to be doing something else here. We're going to go with Rarity, and I'm going to be checking. I want to try out some different things. All right. All right. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm going to be using this Terra Tyrannus. I am absolutely terrible and just can't understand these weapons, but I'm going to be trying out the Switch X just because I like it. I like its design. I like its switching. I like the idea behind this weapon, but god damn, do I not understand how to use it. Like, it feels so slow and sluggish. I don't like it, so I'm going to be trying this out. You can literally just move slash back and forth. That's really fun. I like them. So we're going to be trying this. I'm going to be hunting something light, something easy, something that's not going to make me lose my goddamn sanity as I'm trying to practice this weapon. So, let's just figure out what our uh, prey shall be. Maybe go to an optional arena quest. That seems to make sense. It's a small little arena. I can choose it to be a easier monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see that. That seems reasonable. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. All right, shut up, handler. We're going. Optional quests. What is this? What is what is what is here? Uh, Zor Magdaros. I do kind of need that. I, I do kind of need that. No, not right now. That's that's just boring. I don't want to do that with you guys. That is so boring. You guys would be bored out of your minds. Uh, special arena quests. Uh, Puke Puke is easy. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. This is an easy monster. Good training. Good 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 practice. Let us go. Let us do it, guys. Let us do it. Checking out quickly all the settings and quality on my stream to make sure everything's fine. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks good. All right, good. All right, good. We're having a good time, guys. I'm having a good time. I'm hoping you guys are having a good time, too. It's 37 minutes into the stream. I'm probably going to go for an hour. I'm going to keep repeating the bad twitch.tv that you should follow me on because this is an advertisement the stream. I'm just advertising. I'm plugging my own stream. How about that? I'm plugging my own stream as I'm streaming on my own stream. How much more meta can I get? Boom. <laughs> High rank Puke Puke. That seems to be it. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's it's circle, not X. Okay. I also probably look forward to a Bloodborne stream as well as potentially God of War streams. We don't know yet, but there's going to be a bunch of those on Twitch. Follow me there, please. I I could be. I could make ads for, like, you know, Crunchyroll. Ask me, where, where you at? Hook me up with that deal. All right, so now you're gonna roar at me, which is just so unfortunate. All right, so let's try this. Let's let's try this. Let's really, let's seriously try this. Let's learn this weapon because I do like this weapon. In theory, I'm just terrible at it. All right, so you want to stay in sword mode? I got that. And I kind of dodge out of that. It's gonna roar again. Oh, nice. Good job, newbie. You did it. All right, now switch back since I'm running out of. Uh, Oh, okay. Kind of stuck in that now. Unfortunate. Okay. Seriously, have no clue what to do. We've got to figure this out. Oh, I didn't put on protective polish or anything. That's bad. That's bad of me. Whoa! What? Get that Puka 
active. No. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm not following you. Come down here again. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this chin. Look at that chin. Giant chin. Yeah, it's really weird how the model keeps shrinking. Ow. Well, at least I got what I needed. What are you doing up there? Like, come on, stay with me. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, when I'm against smaller monsters and easier monsters, I actually kind of like get to play the weapon, but then when you give me, like, a monster that just won't stop attacking and that it's much faster, then I need my fast weapons, because there's... I don't know what to do against, like, it's like a devil gel that won't stop coming at me, and then it's like, oh, but also you have this really slow blade, and it's like, alright, let me, let me just, let me just... <laughs> you need, like, quick sheath with this weapon. But I do like it. I want to learn it a little bit more. It's definitely like a weapon that I just wish I would understand better than I currently do. So I'm gonna have to put down my previous weapons and stop, remove all my, you know, my pre-learned kind of stuff, and just completely relearn the game new with just slower ideas in mind, which is gonna kill me. But gonna have to try, I guess. Gotta try something new. well on steak. How nice. Don't forget, guys, down in the description below, twitch.tv. Follow me there for future streams. I also want to learn a little bit of the charge blade, but that's going to wait a little bit until I have all the uh, Devil Joe material I need in order to make that one, because even though I do have the Dante one, and the Dante one is great, I do want to make a legitimate one, not just like an event quest. I want to kind of make a really, like, a, a one that I think the monster's cool and I like fighting, so I just want to do that. That's why I made the Tyrannus um, switch axe. I'm not sure if there's like a best switch axe everybody like agrees on that I should make, but I like the Tyrannus one, so I made it. I wish they had the Grim Katze. You know, I wish they had that uh, kitty uh, switch axe from the previous games. I have both in Double Cross and Generation. I have both the uh, cat switch axe and uh, uh, charge blade. And I wish they would have brought those back. <laughs> Alright, getting our bounties done. High rank investigation, like monster hunt, cool. Honey, let's do all the easy ones first. Alright, completed all these. Expires in two hours. Good to know any more. Oh yeah, investigation. Should probably check those too quickly. While I can. Yep, let's take that one, because I like Devil Joe. Oh god, the Aussie of never that's never happening. No nine star quests, really? Okay. I mean alright. Let's got a pookie pookie for practice and a rafting for practice. There we go. That's, that seems that seems reasonable. Got to do some investigations anyway, so let's just do that. All right, let's do the pookie pookie. Why not? Let's hunt something a little bit smaller in the ancient forest once again in order to just give me that practice with the switch axe, since I have never ever been able to use these slower weapons com uh, correctly. I'm already itching to switch over to the dual blades or the insect glaive just to get back to that fast-paced action. Plus, a lot of people, like, the, the switch axe, nobody really uses the switch axe because it's considered, like, such a, 
like, why is it here kind of weapon? Because if you wanted to have a slow but strong weapon, the Greatsword is there. If you want to have, like, a switching weapon that does a lot of damage and is also very uh, smooth, the charge blade is definitely a thing. Like, a lot of people are just like, why is Switch Axe here? And I've, I've always liked it. Like, in 3U, before the Insect Lave was even a thing, I used to Switch Axe quite frequently because I didn't really have a main weapon at that time. Uh, but before you having added the uh, Insect Lave, I picked that one up and never looked back to another weapon. But now, again, now that I've had the Insect Lave for so many... I'm going to show you the freaking guild card that I have after this, but after having the Switch Axe, uh, the uh, Insect Lave, for so many quests, it's just kind of time to try out something else, you know? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to learn some other weapons. That's weird. Yeah, why? Why did it keep the hunter rank 999? It's not what. I, hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. Let's see this. There you go. Come on, YouTube. Save that. Let's go. There you go. Your changes being saved. That was weird. I changed the uh, hunter rank 999 title before I even started streaming, but YouTube never changed it. I wasn't aware of that. That's that's unfortunate. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But yeah, today we're gonna be learning the switch axe. Because I wanna learn some more. Hey, moss swine. Nice. Wanna learn some more weapons, get some pookie pookie footprints. I also wanna use the Puke Puke uh insect leaf, even though it's not that strong compared to the other ones. Poison is a thing I enjoy. So I should be using that a little bit more frequently. See oh that's an engine F. I don't wanna deal with that. That's not something I'm down with right now. I'm gonna quickly sharpen this, get the protective polish going, and then eat a mite seat. Now let's get this, let's get this going. All right, buddy. All right, immediately missed. Good start. And now he's gonna do this, which is gonna make him hit. Yep. Okay. I didn't expect him to do a second one. I thought I was safe after the first one. The engine of coming back doesn't appear to be the case. What? That still hit me? Stuff like that is sometimes makes me really angry. The fact that that attack still hit me, even though he was kind of stationary. The engine of is just there or not doing anything. That's funny. Back off. I do love how this weapon also... I think that's one of my favorite moves any weapon can have. A backwards, like, a dodge attack. This has a fade slash similar to the uh, long sword. Where you just kind of do this. And even when you morph, you can fade slash backwards, which gets you even further back. I think that is super cool. I really like that. Oh, the Pookie Pookie left. Smart boy, I'm going out of here too. See you later. Can't get the toxic mucus. Oh, the engine just kind of follows you forever. I think when you get when you get ma it gets mad at you, but you shouldn't be mad at me because I barely attacked you. That was the pookie pookie did most of that. Oh. All right, guys. Let's kill this thing. Oh god, okay. Not so good. I don't know how to get out of that. Like, with the Insect Lave, I would just dodge, but with this weapon, so slow. I don't know how to get out of my attacks, like, if I need to cancel that, you know? I don't know. Limping? Oh no, it's just flying away. Jesus. 
Okay, so that was not too bad. I thought that was pretty good. All right, guys, it's 50 minutes in. We got like 10 more minutes. We're gonna, you know what? We're just gonna finish this hunt, and I'm gonna call it quits for the day. Don't forget, down in the description below, I have my Twitch.tv link going. Uh, follow me there for future streams because eventually they're gonna stop appearing on here entirely. So if you want to see more, then you definitely should follow me there. All right, buddy. Let's see that. Can't even do it. Oh, got him! Nice. Okay, cool. Nice. That was actually much faster than I expected. So I guess that was a pretty early uh, call on that on that stream, but whatever. Well, there we go, guys. Gonna start learning that Switch Axe uh, again on Twitch. Follow me there for more Switch Axe learning action. And we're gonna be uploading some more videos on YouTube. I'm gonna be going back to more Roots and potentially play some more horror games. How about that one? I haven't done that in a while. So if you're looking forward to that, you know, don't forget to like this video if you're watching that later as such, or like the stream. And also, you know, subscribe for more if you're a newcomer and just found this completely randomly. Because we will always be doing more games, and it's always gonna be fun. Don't worry about that. Uh, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, once again, please leave a like and a comment, and consider subscribing. Don't forget to follow the description. In the description, there is a link to my Twitch.tv page. You should subscribe to me there or follow me there. Sorry, YouTube lingo. Because I'm gonna be doing streams primarily on that page from here on out. So, don't forget to do that if you want to see more of my live streams and interact with me live. I'm sorry, HGL. That was probably horrible timing. Sorry about that. Really happy. Thank you for your continued support and thank you for showing up. Sorry that I had such terrible timing. But I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, please game on.